a thing in Maxim this month on uh, some of the worst jobs in the world. They scoured the planet and found some of the worst jobs. For instance, uh, here's a job. The Royal Thailand Waste and Water Company is seeking applicants for the position of huge great lumps of sewage remover. This challenging but exhilarating post involves wading all day up to the neck. Oh no. In the effluent in the effluent emanating from the main Bangkok Chow Puraira River Chow whatever Bangkok River outfall, where the successful applicant would be required to manually remove lumps of raw sewage that are so large they would otherwise block the sewage's metal grill. <laughs> Who's putting out chunks that are that big that uh, read the cabbie. <laughs> Um, Another one of those bad jobs was a chicken rectum remover. Now, I didn't see that one. Is that right? What? They had to, like, de-rectify the... The whole uh, day, this lady is on an assembly line removing them, carefully removing the R's of the chicken. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. Uh, what are some other ones here? Uh, a middle, we are middle, a major Middle Eastern country seeking unqu- seeking unqualified mages ages 16 to 50 to fill the position of cannon fodder. Uh, basically, it's to be uh, a soldier in like Albania or Iraq or one of those. You know, could you think of a worse job than being an Iraqi soldier? No. That's a job? Well, it's a career. Being those luggage guys when it's freezing outside and you're from the airplane out out on the tarmac. Right, although they're paid well. Those are, are they? Un- yeah, oh yeah, those union? are union jobs. Absolutely. Those guys are paid well. Anything with uh, physical labor. I would say probably like being a meter maid would uh, be that's a, a cushy horrible, gig. That'd be a horrible job. People yelling at you all day. It's got the power though. You're in a little you know, a little cart. Yeah, but those women, those people aren't that powerful. They're really just bitchy. Uh, anything that has to do with sewage. No, no. Mark, is this your line of work that you're talking about? Well, I work in new construction. I own a power wash company. I see it all the time. A porta potty cleaner. Right. Yeah, is that, a r- that stuff doesn't go away. Is that a There's real no job? There's going on in there. It yes. Stays in there. They have to clean those things out somehow. That's right. Somebody's got to do it. Don't they just? Uh, they don't just like put a chemical in there and no, like, and it disappears. No, they come in with a big truck with this big tube, drop it inside, suck it all out, and then they wash it all down with this chemical. Ooh, and then they roll out and you know really there's, quick. And you know there's got to be a factor of splatter. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be very careful, I'm sure. Well, it doesn't look pleasant. That's they wear some down. pretty thick gloves, but... I, I'd have to wear a gas mask. I, mean, that, I would. That would... Oof. A respirator should be part of the equipment. How about uh, somebody who actually has one of these really bad jobs? Jobs. Give us a call. Thanks for calling. Hey, you have one of these crappy jobs? Yeah. What do you do? I um, set up these portable horse stalls across the country, and it wasn't bad putting them up. But taking them down was the worst because there was crap all over the ground, and there were flies everywhere bite me. And um, Do you get paid well for it? What? Do you get paid well for it? Yeah, for, you know, we made... I don't know, somewhere around a thousand dollars a week, but it was horrible. Thousand bucks a week—that's good change. And it's not really a crappy job if you're getting paid good jack to do it. How um, how how often did you, or how long did you keep that job? Excuse me. How long did you keep that job? Uh, actually, I just kept it over summer um, during college because uh, this guy went around and just got like college students to do the work because you know he got to travel all over the West and. Uh, and college yeah, students will do north. anything. <gasps> All right. Yeah, thanks for calling. Okay. Now, here, I'll tell you what. Line four, that's a bad job. Jane, is is this your job right now? Jane? Hello? Is this your job right now? Um, you're referring to what I do, colon therapy? Yes, colon, colon therapy. Colon therapy. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure you get paid good jack, but that's not the, the job that I want. Okay, you do. That is your current position. You are a colon therapist. Yes, I clean people's colons. <laughs> Oh. And it's it's actually not. I don't consider it a bad job. I love it. You love it? Yeah, it's extremely rewarding. Rewarding. Yes, yeah, so I have you, great clients. Okay, and let's 
And I've, <laughs> I've seen many people's health um, increase greatly since they've been doing it. Okay, that I that well, yeah, okay. The results of thing, what you do, the right. results of what you yeah, do are the better. results. The results like, are rewarding. You uh, colon therapy. So is this done with like a you know a, a toothbrush? I mean, what do you? <laughs> No, it's actually, um, it's not as bad as people think. It's an enclosed system, and there is an inflow tube of clean water that goes into the colon and an outflow tube mm. where all of the fecal matter comes out, and you get to view it through a lighted tube in the machine as it comes out of you. Is that the same as a colonoscopy? Uh, no, not at all. Okay. <laughs> mm. Colonoscopy um, is when they go in and scope your colon to see if there's any problems. Gotcha. You know, I just when you just even said colonoscopy, I, my gag reflexes because anybody over the age of thirty who has to go for an annual physical is familiar with a uh, coloctoscope or whatever it's called, a proctoscope. Exactly, and, <laughs> and, and you people, know anything called a proctoscope can't feel good. <laughs> and people go, well, why would I want to clean my colon out? Well, why uh, do you have to get your colon checked after thirty? Uh, so, you know, it makes sense. <laughs> so, uh, what's, your, what's your best line? Drop them. <laughs> no, we usually tell people let it go. Let it go. Oh, get you. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm getting you a gift certificate for Christmas. Okay. So. We, we do have those. <laughs> okay, gift but you have C, a free, co- um, a free colon clean. For we, we do have gift certificates, yes. Oh, come on. And it's a, it's a wonderful experience. We okay. massage. It's a wonderful we do, your, we do foot re- reflexology. And, uh, who buys and, and then you just slip in the cleaning how much of the is colon? It? <laughs> you know, how much is that? It's the perfect stocking stuffer. It is. How and much? It, and it's something that, that you know, it's important. Okay. Um, it's $75 for the initial perfect. cleaning and 65 thereafter. Are yeah. you a doctor? No, I'm a certified colon therapist. What is the, uh, seriously, the worst part? I mean, it's doesn't it stink? I mean, and I don't mean that as a play on words. Um, I mean, doesn't it, isn't it just vile? Well, no, it is a closed system, so everything is enclosed in the tube. And I know it sounds, it seems really hard to understand because I felt the same way when I was a client before I started doing it. And um, then when I actually got in there and had it done, I was like, wow, this is, you know, totally not what I expected at all. How do you solicit for a, uh, hey, you need your... Uh... Um, um, we just go by referrals only right now. Okay. How do you know when it's time to uh, clean? Well, usually people that come in, they're having problems with severe yeah, gas yeah, or bloating yeah. or okay. constipation. Okay, gotcha. Are you having uh, oh. is, uh, constipation problems, JB? No, I'm fine, thank you. Riveting segment. No, I'm fine, well, thank most, you. I, most yeah. Americans that eat the typical American diet need need a good series of cleansing. Would you like to uh, plug your business, give out a phone number or something? Uh. Um, I'm, I really don't. Own it. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Great. Great I really don't own it. I just am a therapist there, so I'd have to have permission first. Right. Um, okay. Because okay. they do the plugging for him. That's right. When they, right. when they plug, but I appreciate the offer. When they plug their business, they really <laughs> plug their business. I'm here to tell you. Hey, I got a no, job. No, we unplug. You um, unplug. Yes, we okay. don't plug. We unplug. Thank you, Jay. Right. Thanks for enlightening so, us. Oh, I sure. can't even. I mean, I'm just thinking about it. It's like. It's a healthy thing, Jimmy, is what she's trying to say. No, yeah. but you know, I know it's an enclosed system, but at some point there is a you have to begin the, the process. One last crappy job, a turkey milker? Yeah, Tom Turkey Milker. A Tom I, Turkey Milker. Yeah, I used to live in the, the second largest turkey producing city in the country. What is that? So, it's Harrisonburg, Virginia. All right. And they always used to advertise in the paper for a Tom Turkey milker. And so among the jobs of evisceration and uh, rectum removing, they also had a position where you had to manually uh. kind of ejaculate a turkey <laughs> oh, to, to keep God. the process of... <laughs> Turkey growing, going. Now I've heard of this job. This guy's not kidding. I've heard this is not an urban legend. You aim it at you aim it at the female turkey. What do you do? (laughs) No, I don't know if they see. I didn't actually have to do this. I just remember that they advertised it, but it was all no one ever took it as a job. So, but it just. I, I don't know. They probably saved it in a cup or something. You show up pictures of uh, little naked turkeys. <laughs> exactly. Know. Yeah, yeah. He's a turkey whacker, a turkey. I say. Uh, he, <laughs> that's is that like a, uh, a poultry boner? Ah, uh, hey. a deep, uh, no, it wouldn't be a deep boner. A, t- a tur, yeah, a turkey. I've heard of this job. And they no have, one took the job for some reason. No, it was always in the paper every single week. Yeah, I because, don't know because the tur- t- right. Man. The turkeys, not just turkeys, but I think they do it with their other animals too. They have this buildup of, you know, reproductive fluid, 
and uh, it has to be released, right? And there's, right. they haven't found some machine that does it yet. And they manually do there's it. There's a guy who manually has to do that. From what I understand. Okay, Drew, here are your gloves. And there he is. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh, what a job. It gives a whole new uh, meaning to the word pecker. The best of the morning. <laughs> By the time I finished watching the three, I was ready to vomit. 99 we're all juggling life, a career, and trying to build a little bit of wealth. The Brown Ambition Podcast with host Mandy and Tiffany, the budget nista, can help. HGTV's Paige Turner. People are wanting to buy a home. Is it a buyer's market? Is it a seller's market? Is it neither? It's neither. If you're in a position to buy a home and if it makes more sense to own than to rent at this time in your life, then buy the house. Just don't buy the house thinking in six months you're going to make a $400,000 profit off of it because that's not there anymore. Brown Ambition. Wherever you listen.